What's up, party people? I'm Jay Campbell. And I'm Hunter Williams. And we are back today again to shoot another video. And this one is another subject that we really like to talk about because a lot of people don't really understand this. So if you're a faster, should you drink electrolyte, you know, water-based electrolyte solutions when you're fasting? What are your thoughts? Absolutely, Jay. And one of the most important things for fasting is to make sure that you have requisite or even higher levels of electrolytes in your body to help you go through the fast. One of the reasons when we fast, we get really hungry and then we get brain fog and fatigue and we like have to feel, we, we feel hangry and like we have to eat is because we have a depletion in electrolytes. Yep. And time and time again, I've worked with people, coached with people, Jay and I talk to them all the time in our private membership groups and coaching programs is that someone will say, man, I just get to like two or three o'clock in the afternoon in my fast and like that last three or four hours is miserable. I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I'm cranky. And I say, add some electrolytes in or drink an electrolyte, you know, propel keto lights, I would say are even better because they have more, this right way now. more sodium. Yep. It just knocks out their hunger. They feel amazing. They get like that fasting focus where they, uh, you know, have the cognitive boost, the catecholamine release and everything. So um, they're crucially important one, you know, for overall health, but especially when fasting, because as you get fasted, you get dehydrated and electrolytes help hydrate you in a way that just water can't. Yeah. So you're not going to feel as good if you're just drinking water as if that water had electrolytes in it. Yeah. So like he was, he mentioned keto lights. So keto lights is a supplement brand from our good friend who owns ketogenics.com. His name is Mike Trinkella. Everybody calls him Trench. It's a good paisan, you know, from North the Northeast. Good friend of mine. He goes, we, him and I go way back. Good friend of Hunter too and stuff, but he makes an amazing product. that's called keto lights and they're sticks and then also bags right now. The sticks are out, but it does have bags. And that's what I have in here right now. What is this raspberry or what's uh, it strawberry? Flu. Strawberry, strawberry blast is well, really honestly, good. Guys, it yeah. tastes amazing. And if you're fasting, which him and I are both fasting right now, um, and we've been fasting hardcore. Yeah, we're close to 24 hours right now. We're at about 22 and a half hours, but it's almost six o'clock on Thursday. And we've been fasting since late last night, what, nine o'clock? Yeah. And this product, this keto light product that we're using really, really helps with, uh, as you said, delaying appetite, uh, improving the mind muscle neural connection, you know, all these like cofactors and minerals and trace elements that we don't get. Like, as you were saying, like when most people start getting hangry, we don't have that effect. We're not noticing that because obviously these electrolytes and obviously uh, the minerals and the cofactors and everything else that's in there is really helping us maintain balance and maintain function deep into 21, 22 hours in the fast. Yeah. If you think about it in your body, your cells communicate electrically to each other yeah. and the electrolytes are basically that communication medium between yeah. cells. So if you enhance the communication medium, it's basically like taking your internet from a dial up to a broadband connection because you're enhancing the speed at which you transmit information between the cells. So that's why we need electrolytes. If you don't have electrolytes, you'll die. Like if you get too electrolyte depleted, whether it's magnesium, potassium, or sodium, you can die if you're too low. So that's why it's so important, especially when fasting. And it enhances your fast. You're able to go for much longer. You're able to have just the breakthrough where you get through, you know, like the cognitive fatigue barrier and everything there. Um, so it's critically important that you do that. And a lot of people just kind of take it for granted. They think if they drink water, that that's enough. And I will tell you, just because pretty much all the water supply in the United States is contaminated now, there's no minerals in it. There's no electrolytes or anything. You're going to have to remineralize your water with electrolytes, especially when you're fasting. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, to, just to wrap it up because it's not a long video. If you're a faster, you should be drinking an electrolyte solution. You know, there's a plus or minus con conversation around ketone. Obviously, keto lights does have some ketone salt in that product, and obviously a bunch of also uh, electrolytes. So. Uh, you know, there's a, again, it's a, another conversation or maybe for another video about the effectiveness of ketone salts when you're doing a long-term fast. I mean, I think there's some merit to it, but I don't want to talk about it on this show today, but absolutely Hunter's right. Don't just be drinking plain water. Make sure that you get your electrolytes and get your minerals and your cofactors and all of those trace elements um, during the day that you're fasting. Yeah. Only other thing I was at is just Try to make sure it's not a caloric um, electrolyte mix. I mean, if it's like got five calories of just replacement sugars like stevia or monk fruit, that should be okay. It's not going to like knock you out of fast, especially if you're relatively lean. Um, but just don't use ones like liquid IV. That's like a very popular one. Right. That has like, you know, 14 or 15 grams of sugar. That's, that's not good to take when you're fasting. Uh, I don't think it's good to take overall, especially Period. like relative to what else is out there, like a keto light. Mix. Yeah, I mean, that's something we could even do a video on that at some point. Like you got to also understand, like, what is the sugar to calorie, uh, 
you know, combination, yeah, yeah. you know, cause that, if you have like 12 grams of sugar and that's the only form of caloric content in that product, that means it's garbage, right? Yeah. Like that's very simple. Like a couple of grams of sugar, whether it's replacement sugar or, you know, silent sorbitol or xylitol or whatever, one of those things, that's okay. Right. But if it's 14 to 16 grams of sugar and there's no other form of energy in that mixture, then you know, it's garbage. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you might as well just Go go up to the sugar yeah. bowl and just scoop Throw it out and drink, sugar drink, drink yeah. it. <laughs> drink it totally. back. So yeah, at least if you're gonna do that, eat a cookie or something. It's gonna you'll enjoy it more. So definitely electrolytes <laughs> when you're fasting. I'm Jay Campbell. I'm Hunter Williams. We appreciate it. Love you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.